me immediately. Okay, do you give us more time till we know what to do? Uh, we don't have the order to leave the platform. They don't let us. Evacuate immediately. You have less than one minute. 8 a.m. in the Persian Gulf. Three U.S. warships warn an Iranian oil platform at Siri, while three more get ready to attack another at Sassan. Both platforms have radar and communications equipment to help direct Iranian attacks against Gulf shipping. The firing begins. At Sassan, Marines board the platform to complete its demolition. Their job done, the ships steam away. At Siri, the fire is too hot for the Marines to climb aboard. Suddenly, a small Iranian missile boat is spotted headed toward the U.S. ships. We engaged, and he fired at us simultaneously with a missile. Uh, the Simpson fired three standard missiles, two of which hit the PTG. The Wainwright fired one, which hit the PTG. Uh, we have subsequently closed it and fired another missile and it sunk. Two threatening Iranian Phantom jets are also spotted. They're driven off by missiles fired from the Wainwright. 3.30 p.m. Iranian patrol boats retaliate against an American-operated oil platform and set it ablaze. An American service boat, the Willie Tide, is hit by Iranian guns but damages slight. An American worker aboard the platform describes the scene. We're there like setting guts, you know, and uh, if I had a grenade launcher or something like that, I'd have fired at him. I would have. The British tanker York Marine is attacked by three Iranian patrol boats, set afire, and evacuated by its crew. U.S. attack jets off the carrier Enterprise finally arrive on the scene and sink three Iranian bog hammer patrol boats. 3.35 p.m. An Iranian frigate, the Sahan, with a crew of 125, one of only four in Iran's navy, is spotted heading toward three U.S. warships near a rock island in the Strait of Hormuz. Warned away by a navy surveillance plane, the frigate instead fires at three A-6 jets from the Enterprise. The planes respond with missiles and bombs. All the ordnance appears to have hit the frigate, and it's heavily damaged. 5.17 p.m., a second Iranian frigate, the Sabalan, allegedly fires on another U.S. jet, which returns the fire with a single laser-guided bomb. Astonished by Iran's unprecedented boldness in challenging superior U.S. firepower, Defense Secretary Carlucci this afternoon issued this warning. We have to assume uh, that uh, war vessels entering the region are engaged in hostile intent. There were no confirmed U.S. casualties, although a helicopter with two aboard is missing from the Wainwright. The number of Iranian casualties depends mainly on losses unknown at this time from the two frigates. Officials here express satisfaction that both men and equipment worked well today, but no one is willing to guess whether the Iranians have had enough.